Sweet tarts. It looks so good right now. Hello everyone, it's Maxie and um, today is Saturday actually and I'm uploading on Saturday. Well hopefully if I end up editing this, I will. I feel motivation. Yeah, so if you notice my hair is a little different, um, I talked about this in my other lip color testing video as well. Um, it's a work in progress. My hair is supposed to be white. Didn't quite turn out. It's like sort of, sort of there and I just need to retone it and stuff. Get the yellow out of there. You know. Since I'm going to go back to school on Monday, I'm very sad about it. I decided to do a school video. Um, I don't know how that's going to help me, but whatever, you know, let's just I was thinking about things that you do in school that like are kind of weird um, and I just like wrote a list so I'm gonna tell you those. Tell me if you can relate. I think a lot of people have at least done a couple of these. Let's go. The first one is asking to go to the bathroom even though you just have to go to your locker. I feel like the reasoning with this is because you feel like the teacher is more likely to let you leave if you ask to go to the bathroom because it's like a human right, you know, instead of asking to go to your locker. <laughs> color coding everything. And it's like a certain subject just like has a color in your mind. Like for me, language arts, obviously red. Um, math, blue. Science, green or yellow. I don't know why I do this, but like, and I have to have the notebooks matching too, you know, like everything has to be that color for that subject. And then same with the binders. Like super, I, I don't know, does anybody else do that? I, um, unless you're one of those people that likes to have like designs on their folders and stuff, but I just like to keep it simple. Life of simplicity. The weirdest thing we do in school is definitely the pacer. I don't know if everybody does this, but lots of schools, I think, do it. Um, it's in like gym class or whatever. Literally, you run back and forth to a beep. And if you don't make it by the time it beeps to the other side, you're out. And so you have to make it to a certain number in order to like qualify as a healthy teen or something like that. So I think like the healthy levels, like you have to get 75. Do you know how hard it is to do that? I feel like I want to throw up when I'm running at 28, okay? So, um, no. Also, may I mention people with asthma? How? How do they even? Huh. Texting someone when they're right next to you in class because he can't talk. I'm guilty of this too, just, you know, I'm just annoyed with the teacher, you'd be like, oh my god, I hate her so much, and then your person next to you is like, I know, me too. Raising your hand so it looks like you know the answer, but then if the teacher calls on you, you just ask them to go to the bathroom. <laughs> At least then they're not calling on you when you're like not expecting it, you know? However, I literally never raise my hand in class. Is there anybody else out there like that? I never raise my hand. I think I've raised my hand in my whole life, like, twice, and they're probably just because I need to leave. And the last one is saying you can't find your homework as you're digging through your binder looking for it because it sounds better than you saying that you didn't do it. I've done this before a couple of times. Yeah, the teacher's like, you got your homework and I'm like, I'm looking for it, I'm sorry, I literally can't find it, I must have left it at home, um, I can grab it tomorrow and bring it to you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it and can relate to a couple of these things. I'm so sorry if you have to go back to school on Monday. Tears. But you know what helps with tears? Sweet tarts. For real.